In this session, we're going to start to talk about the meat and potatoes of Drupal, and that's content types. A website can contain a lot of different kinds of content. Informational pages, news items, polls, blogs, real estate listings, and it really depends on what kind of site you're building. For our Drupalville site, we're going to be building the kind of site any typical small town might have. So we're going to have content types like attractions, news, blogs from the mayor, a welcome page, possibly some items about transportation around our town, and of course, maybe even an event calendar, information about our parks, and other attractions. So different kinds of content, different kinds of information, all on the same website. Each page in Drupal, or each item of content in Drupal, is called a node. Now, we're not going to use this terminology through most of the course, but if you're going to enter into the Drupal world, you do need to understand, because most people will use these terms. So, an item of content is called a node, and each node belongs to a single content type. So, if we have a content type for an attraction, for instance, then all of the attraction articles belong to that content type. And that defines the various default settings, whether it's published automatically, whether comments are permitted, and what fields we have for the various types of information in our content type or article. Now I know that's a little confusing, but hopefully it's going to make a lot more sense as we go. When we first install Drupal, we only have two kinds of content types. We have article and basic page. The article content type is enabled in the default installation profile. Articles are generally used for information that's updated more frequently and often cross-referenced and categorized, such as news items or resources. By default, articles are sorted with the most recent post at the top, but we can customize that. As well, by default, articles allow comments to be added and the articles are automatically published and promoted to the front page. So giving you kind of like a blog, although there is a blog content type in Drupal as well. The basic page is usually for content that isn't updated all that often and by default doesn't have comments allowed and is published but not promoted to the home page. And so that's basically the only difference between an article and a basic page. In the next couple of sessions we're going to add content types to create a couple of nodes for our new page. All right, now that we've got the Drupal talk out of the way, let me just say that again in plain English. In the next couple of sessions, we're going to add new pages to our website. One is going to be an, an article page with comments enabled, and it's going to be promoted or put onto our front page. And the second one is going to be an About Our Town page, which we're not going to update very often, and it's not going to be promoted to the home page, and people won't be able to make comments on it. All right, so let's keep going.